Hi, welcome to Learning Monkey. I am Raghuir. In this class, we will discuss about Universal Turing Machine. In our last classes, in the beginning of the Turing Machine, we clearly discussed that this Turing Machine works as today's computer. So whatever the computations that are capable of doing using today's computers, we can do the same using Turing Machine. This is the statement we have given in our first class of our, of our Turing Machine. So is it correct? Yes, it is correct. How, why it is correct and how it is correct, let's try to understand in this class. In our last classes, we clearly discussed about Turing Machine works as an addition. Yes, we discussed about Turing machine works as a subtraction. Yes, and we discussed about Turing machine works as a comparison operator, compa comparison function. Yes, we can. We are capable of doing addition, subtraction and comparison. If you can do these three operations, you can do any computation. Today's computers can capable of doing it. So yes, it is possible. Turing machine is work exactly working as today's computers. But one more point you have to understand. Today's computers, if you click on game, game is going to execute. If you click on an application, application is going to execute because means how it is working. Today's computer is working. It is working according to your input. Our computer is going to act. Based on the input, your computer is selecting the program and executing the program. But is it possible using Turing machine? No. We had a separate Turing machine for addition. We had a separate Turing machine for subtraction. We had a separate Turing machine comparison. We are having it separately. But it is possible using universal Turing machine. Universal Turing machine is exactly works as our today's computers. What's universal Turing machine? How it is mentioned? Let's try to understand in this class. Yes, universal Turing machine consists of a finite control, finite control FC. This is going to control and uh, on this we are having three tapes, tape 1, tape 2 and tape 3. Tape 1 is used to representation of the Turing machines. Uh, suppose if you are having a Turing machine for uh, addition. Yes, place it on it. Uh, how we place it that we will try to understand at the end of the class, uh, we will place on tape 1. If you are having a Turing machine for subtraction yes place it on tape one this is how tape one is used to represent the turing machines next one is tape two the input the input is provided and placed it on tape two and next third tape is used to say that which state we are in if you are executing a turing machine we are in q2 state yes in order to mention that we are using this a third tape by using this finite control we can execute any turing machine that are present on our tape one using the input by maintaining the states this works exactly as our computer the question is how we represent the turing machines on tape one that is the point we have to understand let's try to understand how we representation of turing machine let's take example q0 q1 q2 are the states that are present in our turing machine we, we are doing it as a coding system. How to do coding? This is the code which we are chosen in one of the textbook. It is, is it compulsory to choose the same coding? No, it's up to you. It's your wish. Q0 is given as single one. Q1 is given as two ones. Q2 is given as three ones. Our input symbols are, uh, tape symbols are one, one, one. A, B are the uh, symbols. We have coded it as A as one, B as a two ones. And uh, we can move left. Left is given as a one. Right is given as two ones. Now we can write our transition table like this. This is how our transition looks like. Q naught. If you take the input symbol as A, we are taking the Q one as a. We are moving to Q one state, and we are converting this A into B. Then we are moving left. This is what you have to do. This can be encoded like this. Q naught means a single one. Q0 is taken as single one. As a separator, we are using zero. Next, Q0, A is taken as single one. Yes, single one, zero separation. Next, what's your Q1? Q1 means it is taken as two ones. Yes, two ones, zero. Next, B means two ones, two ones, zero. Next, we are moving left. Left means single one. This is how we code the transition function has been converted into a our encoding system this can be placed in our tape tape one like that we convert our entire transact transition function transaction table into this ones and zeros and we'll place it on the tape like that we will convert all the turing machines and place it on our tape one 
this is how universal turing machine will execute it's exactly same as our computer hope you understand the concept if you have any questions regarding the concept please post your questions in the comment section below thanks for watching if you haven't subscribed to our channel please subscribe to our channel and press bell icon for the latest updates thank you